Hi Alpha team, Planty here. Welcome to my abode. You've joined us on setup day. We've got the whole team here, trying to sort everything out. New screens, the works. Come and have a look to see what we've been up to. This is his current setup, right? So we're doing we're a lot of content. Medieval. Yeah. Medieval, old school. That's the new Mac, by the way. Um, and we're going to get him a whole brand new setup because he talks through trades. Um, we're going to get him a multi-screen setup. And yeah, just going to follow along for today to show you how we switch this into this. The reason why we're doing this, right, is obviously Vardy's doing a lot more education stuff. A lot, lot more. And we was using a, a webcam. As much as this webcam's called, cool, follows you around. But the quality of the camera is not that good. We want to start shooting in 4K because we're going to start pushing the YouTube channel. So, yeah, we just need to upgrade it. This being like 20 years old. Yeah. On one particular day, the, the plastic stand at the back snapped off. And then the classic Apple, you search, and they yeah. just don't exist, or you have to buy a thousand that pound screen to like... So it's like, I'm not getting rid of that, because there's nothing wrong with it. So I ended up getting one of these arms. We're trying to find an arm that fits it, because it's really heavy. Yeah. So I had to construct one. I was going to say, where, yeah. I so I've seen. got a massive plate for hanging stuff, bigger than it should be, yeah. in order to make it fit the arm. And then you turn up with the deliv next delivery with arm arms coming oh, out of everywhere. Yeah, but to get people to be like... Inside information, be like, give me. People, what, people wanting it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you get people here <clears throat> up, like tapping you up? Anyway, it was worse in the 2000 no when people you know, were just doing nothing but PA trading. It's quite. They were making money for the people. Yeah. All, every time they came over, they'd go, the bosses come here. What do you think about this situation? And blah, blah. And you'd be going, you'd be boss as a boss, like you'd be spending 15, 20 minutes taking through every angle. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, great, so just bought some of those PA. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's like, what good's that to me? It's like, please. <laughs> this is R2-D2, right? <laughs> so this thing is unbelievable. So I actually had to create my own version of this, but now you can buy one. <clears throat> can I do Bruce Lee fighting on it as well? Yeah, it is a bit like that, Wing Chun. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, now you can get them on Amazon with everything on. So you can put your notes here. This plugs your YouTube, your own um, laptop iPad, camera, mic, so you can put it all in. Oh, so you get all scrolling. Yeah. You can literally monitor and you can just wheel it around. So if he wants to start shooting in front of the whiteboard, you can start shooting with a whiteboard, clip the camera on, you're off to the races. For creating content, I just, I went from like taking ages to create content and then I'm just literally click a button and you're off. Get an idea. Everything's just ready to go. Yeah. Bam, bam. And it's what, in the right format, ready to really, yeah, it's just, all you have to do is just press record mm. and it's ready to go. Yeah. Honestly, it's incredible. I couldn't believe it when I saw this on Amazon. I was like, what? Yeah, so these are can start traders. What do you think would be the most easy to comprehend off the bat? Forex, gold, stocks, where would you like? I think it really comes down to what suits you i mean when you think of investment what do you what do you think of you think in stock shares have you ever had a go at anything no, no. i mean for forex and gold anything that's a commodity that's priced in dollars that effectively is a, is forex as well so it's anything that's in a pair to a one currency against another as you as you move along you you find the ones where you've you're more comfortable with the information that comes through and the way that it trades. Some some are really volatile. Some take weeks, have a smaller price movement. So it's a case of what suits your personality. Do you, do you get scared when things are moving at a quick pace, but you might have more opportunities to make more money with less invested? Or would you rather put in, be really secure about what you want to trade in and put a bigger amount in, knowing it's going to move around slower? Yeah. So this is, again, what you were saying earlier about psychology. It's, it's about really understanding yourself. There's no real tried and tested route other than giving it a go. Because you've got to find out. You, you can go and talk to a, a guru, and they're brilliant. And like, I do a lot of talking in gold where I understand the fundamentals. And I do think, I made a joke in comment of the week, I think gold's a good place to start because it's very fundamental and it sticks to a lot of technicals. So even if you're not winning, you're learning. For me, I... You know, I'm all over the fundamentals. I know, my, I know my technicals, but the psychology of trading is so difficult. 100%. You know, and if you're busy and things are going wrong, and you, if you're in a period when you need to make the money, 
Yeah, that is when it's an argument because you don't react properly. You get out of discipline. You lose your you lose your edge, and you end up being in a worse position than when you started. Mm -hmm. So I mean, in terms of risk reward, it literally is what it's comfortable to you. There might be a strategy that you've done all your back testing. That is the most likely. Yeah. If you can get discipline to stay in, if you're making a three to one win, but you know you're winning three times versus yeah. what you're losing, you've got four goes at breaking even, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Um, you get a sequence of wins, that's when you start doing well. So it's what you're comfortable with because being in a three-to-one trade, that's quite a long period. You know, if you're doing that in a short time frame, but fair enough, if you're on a, if you're on a few days, if you're swing trading over a longer time frame, you've got, you're going to have quite a lot of counter trend going on in that. And that's when the psychology is coming in. And the amount of times you, 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 might, you might make a thousand pounds three times and watch it go back. Even though it is a trade that's going to make you three, but how, how are you feeling the two times that you've lost that thousand? As long as you're happy that a decision, making a decision is worse than is better than no decision, and live with it and react to what happens next. That's what you've got to get into the psychology. It's kind of take it in the moment. What if your analysis is true? Stick with it. But if you believe it and you get taken out, has something changed or is it just an error? And, and it is, you know, people are always suspicious. I'm suspicious looking at these things. When you've got the stop losses in, how often do you get your stop loss just wicked and then it's off to the races? So you've got, this is another time where you've got to be all over it because you might need to get back in. It's unfortunate, but you've not really lost anything because you've got a tight, tight your stop loss. So what's, what's this going to be? Studio. So like this could potentially be the studio and Pips and Pints venue for the in interviews. Soon to come. Yeah, stage two on the way. Make Mrs. P happy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the trader interviews you've done. One of them instead, like, don't expect to get a funded account and then keep that account forever. Yeah. More than likely you'll have it for a while. Something will happen. You've gone the wrong way and you have to get another one, pass the phase and then go for it again. Absolutely. So you've got to be happy that your long-term idea is right. And that's what they're saying. They, they know that overall, net, net, they're going to win over time. But it's like literally the toss of the coin idea. You can have 20 in a row. Doesn't mean that the fair chance of winning isn't fifty percent. As long as you've set up your trading pattern that you've got an edge over time, you will win. You've just got to stick with it. Where it goes wrong is the emotions come in. You have a loser, and then you change the parameters. You, you suddenly start doubling that bet, holding it for longer. Like you said, and you start moving your stop loss around, and all of a sudden that isn't your game plan, and you're wondering where the money's gone. And this and this is you said. Why have you got six screens? Because there's got to be something on one of those screens that. If, you, if you're if you being professionally paid to do it, if you've not seen that, then all hell will come down on you. And not only that, you'll see it in the P&L because you'll be making the wrong price and five people have just tried to take you out at the same time. So you join us after a really long day here. We're doing all this for the Alpha community. I want to help educate you. And this is a, the start of a fantastic setup. We've had Charlotte and the boys here all day sorting this out. Just got to mention how annoyed we are with Apple. They've been an absolute nightmare. We bought the Mac Mini. I was disappointed when I did it with the amount of actual cablings and ports you had to use things. Today we found out just how difficult it is. So Apple, pull yourself together because you're going to ruin the Mac 7 by trade. Come on, sort it out. Uh, in the meantime, we've got this fantastic setup. You're going to see all sorts of different angles going forward when we're recording. Ready there is sat right next to mine. Exclusive new whiteboard. <laughs> and unlike some offerings we've had of late... It's actually got pens and a rubber, so we'll be able to draw stuff on there. There'll be all sorts coming your way. But, yeah, big thanks to the Alpha community for recognising we needed to upgrade the kit. It's coming together. We're going to make some great videos for you, and we're looking forward to taking you on the journey. Speak to you soon.